So if you're working with this kind of limit in your calculus one or pre-calculus class, then you have to know this secret. It's going to help you tremendously. So here we have the limit as x approaching 3 of x over x minus 1 minus 3 over 2 or over x minus 3. The first thing you should always do is plugging 3 into all the x's. When we do that, here we get 3 over 2 minus 3 over 2, so we get 0. And when we put 3 in here, 3 minus 3, we also get 0. 0 over 0, this is indeterminate. We don't know the answer yet. We have to do more work to figure it out. Now, here is a secret. If we have the limit as x approaching 3, and if you plug in, you get 0 over 0, then I can tell you, you are going to expect to cancel the factor x minus 3. All right? So let me give you guys another example. If you are working with the limit as x approaching, let's say, negative 5 of some function, if you end up with 0 over 0, then you're expecting to cancel out x plus 5. Just look at this, like x equals negative 5. Bring this to the other side, and you get x plus 5. You see, x is approaching 3. Bring this to the other side. You're expecting to cancel out the x minus 3, guaranteed. When you're working with that, just algebraic, no natural log, no sine cosine, all right? Just algebraic fractions, polynomial, rational expressions, things like that. So now let me show you if this is actually going to work. And I'll tell you later on, if I don't cancel x minus 3, you can unsubscribe my channel. Let's do it. Here, to simplify this expression, let's multiply the top and bottom by the lowest common denominator of the small fractions. We need the 2 and the x minus 1. So multiply the top by 2 times x minus 1 and do the same thing on the bottom. I'm just going to multiply on the top. Take this times the first term. The x minus 1 will cancel. We will just have 2x minus, take this times that, 2 and 2 cancel. So we have minus 3 times x minus 1. On the bottom, do not multiply the out because we are expecting to cancel x minus 3. So I'm just going to leave it like this. Perhaps we can put a 2 in the front though. 2 times x minus 3 times x minus 1. And now we we'll see we have x minus 1, x minus 1 here. And many students will just cancel the x minus 1, which is not correct. Well, you are not expecting to cancel on x minus 1. You are expecting to cancel on what? x minus 3. Alright? So, the correct way to do it is that you are supposed to distribute the top Combine like terms on the top before you can do any cancellations. Have a look. Limit x approaching 3. This is just 2x and then minus 3x. Minus minus so it becomes plus 3. And then the bottoms just keep it. 2 times x minus 3. x minus 1. Now this and that is just negative x. So this is the limit x approaching 3. We have negative x plus 3 over 2 times x minus 3, x minus 1. We're almost there. Notice the top is negative x plus 3. Oh, almost, right? But don't worry. Because we can factor our negative, let me show you. Factoring our negative, and then you see, originally we have negative x. Factor our negative we will have plus the x inside. And then just take plus d3 divided by like negative 1. We will have negative 3 inside. Factoring our negative, and we get this. And then we will have the bottom. And as you can see, you should stay subscribed to my channel, right? Because now we can cancel the x minus 3. Finally, plugging 3 into the remaining x. So. On the top, it's negative 1. On the bottom, we have 2 times 3 minus 1. Work that out. Negative 1 over 2 times 2, which is 4. Final answer. Negative 1 over 4. 